with spring in the air and summer on the minds of many of us, isn't it? It's such a great time to think about eating lighter and healthier so we can fit on into those short shorts and yes, those bikinis. The key is, of course, starting in the kitchen by altering, yes, our eating habits, very important. Now today, if, if you like salmon, I know it's not for some, but I have a great salmon loaf that you might want to try and there's nothing fishy about this dish because it is so easy. But first, let's chat about some very power-packed veggies that pair perfectly with our super healthy salmon. First of all, we have my favorite veggie of all time. I love broccoli. Now, the health benefits of broccoli, it's a really long, really long list. But it's a good dose of vitamin C, potassium, fiber, fiber-rich, and promotes the good hormones in our body, and that's just to name a few of the very big pluses about broccoli. Next we have asparagus. Now asparagus arrives on our plates with the coming of spring. You know it's getting closer. This veggie is power packed with vitamins K, C, A, B, protein, potassium, iron, zinc. Huh, that's just the short list of that one. Now in the orange family over here, we have the sweet potatoes and they fill our bodies with vitamin A, C, B, iron, and also potassium as well. Now back to our main dish and that's the salmon loaf, which my mother always makes and of course we can also make salmon patties out of this one. And there are a lot of different variations that a lot of different people do, but this is the dish I grew up on and it, I still eat today because I love it. Now salmon, as you know, is good for the brain with the omega-3 fatty acids along with just a huge list of pluses. So let's start cooking and here's what you're actually going to need. We have one 14 ounce, it's the big can of salmon that you can buy in the store. You need to use the can because of the texture for this. And you want to keep the juice with the salmon when we pour it into our big mixing bowl. Um, and so don't drain any of the juices. Two eggs, we have them beaten. One fourth cup butter melted. We have a half a cup of the crushed whole wheat saltines. I love these crackers. Or you can simply use bread crumbs, about, about one piece of bread. And um, also we have one tablespoon. We have the parsley flakes, parsley flakes, and then we have the pepper. Now preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You want to just grease a regular size loaf bread pan like I have here. Now in a mixing bowl, you're going to pour in the salmon. Remember to keep the juices. And you want to first go around and kind of break up the salmon so it's into nice flakes. You don't want to have any of those big clumps in there. Then all we're going to do is dump, dump, and dump more. So we're going to start with the two eggs that are beaten. Put that in. We have our melted butter. You can also use margarine if you would like. I stuck to the butter for this one. We have our whole wheat saltines crumbled up. We'll put in our parsley flakes. And then let's put in, I like a lot of pepper with this. So I put quite a bit of pepper in, but however much you want for taste. Then what you're going to do is mix, mix, mix away. Simple as that. Now, folks, I think that we can call this a meals in a rush, don't you? Well, of course we have to, we have to bake it. That takes, a, takes more time. You want to actually bake this between about 40 and 50 minutes. And you'll know when it's done because the top, it'll be, of course, a nice light golden brown. And kind of, um, it, it, it gets harder as it bakes, so when you touch it, it'll have a nice hardened texture to that. Okay, let's get this in the oven. So we want to pour this in. This is our buttered baking dish. Done. Spread this around evenly. Remember we have our oven preheated to 350 degrees. Bake 40 to 50 minutes. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put that in the oven here. Slide that in. Set in the middle there. And we are done. There you have it. So here you can see, of course, is the final, the, the salmon loaf cut up. And so there you go. Once you're done eating this with all the veggies I spoke about, you're going to be feeling like a superhero. Now, before we close, we have to end with Sam. Hi, Sammy. Our Meals in a Rough mascot. He has a new friend. And Meals in a Rough is a time that we discuss what our pets like to eat. This is Cena. Cena Jackson. And he's three. And Cena, above anything else, loves those greenies, those chew bones for dogs. Well, I think that's it. It's time to eat. Have a happy, healthy day and enjoy the Meals in a Rush way.